recap week six already feels like 12 weeks guess that's good and bad so this week I want to make this video very short and the feedback from last video I said you do like the longer videos so thank you for that feedback I do appreciate that very much because after all you guys are the ones who watch these I want to keep this recap video short because it is just me talking pretty much and going over some numbers. So right now, we're just gonna jump into it very quickly. Average calorie intake for week six was 1,981 calories. Protein average was 175.8 grams. Carbs average was 217.5. And fats average was 47.9 grams. That is a total for seven days. So I was able to get all seven days calculated in this. And believe it or not, those averages are with only two low carb days. Only two low carb days. We had three high carb days and that uh, the Sunday of the beginning of the week was a high, high carb refeed day. So my carbs got up to 271 on that day. And then I'm recording this on Sunday. Saturday was a moderate one. If you remember that video, that's when I said it was that was my TMI video. I was changing my macros just slightly to bring up my fiber. And so that was a moderate carb day, I would say. Carbs were at 200, fats were at 50. So that's only with two low carb days, three high carb days, two moderate days. And we're still able to have very good averages at the end of the week. If we go to week five, we can say that calorie average was about the same protein, about the same. Carbs were actually up just slightly not that big of a difference and fats you know about two grams off from that so overall very well and if I look at my average weight from week five to week six from where I was this time last week I am a pound less so that is good that is progress that's really all, I'm, all I want to talk about pretty much about macros and my weight and everything because what it comes down to is how I personally feel and I feel a lot better than I did six weeks ago. Six weeks ago I felt like a couch potato. I felt really bloated in my face and if you guys can see, I don't know if you can tell, but I definitely see it in my face more, especially my jawline of how narrow it is. So I'm happy about that. Just overall bloating has gone down from everything which is progress in itself. You guys might not see it, but personally I do it. That's what it comes down to. I'm not doing all this. I'm not, I don't put the work in to track all of this just for pure entertainment. This is, like I said, a journal for me to go back and see, see my progress, but I do it in a way so it's entertaining for you guys. At the end of the day, I'm not doing this for a show. I'm not doing this for a competition. You know, there's, there's really no end to it that, you know, I get to celebrate my final results. This is just me personally. And with that being said, there might see some changes in the next few videos. I've been going back and forth a lot between long-term goals. Really that's where my mind is, my long-term goals. This speech prep is great and all, but I need to think long-term and what I want my goals to look like. Because at the beginning of this prep, I'm gonna put up a picture. Now, that's what I was going for and also this picture as well. So as you can see in that, you know, very, very lean, but not as strong as I want to be. And the purpose of cutting and bulking, cutting and bulking, for those who don't watch other fitness channels, when you bulk, you're gonna, you're eating more calories. So your maintenance calories are here, you bulk above there. You're gonna obviously add weight, hopefully more of it is muscle, and you're just overall going to look bigger in size, you're putting on more mass. You do that for a certain amount of months, then you start cutting down. So say, in those pictures, say I was 200 pounds. Not really, we're just talking theoretically. Say I'm 200 pounds at my leanest. I bulk up to 230 during my bulk, 230 pounds. When next time I cut down, my goal is to 
look like I did at 200, but be at a higher weight, so say 215. So that would mean that I put on 15 pounds of relatively mostly muscle, but I still look lean at that. And when I look at those pictures, I'll put them up again. Yes, I looked very lean, but right now I don't see the point in getting to that when I haven't put on additional muscle to that. So what I'm trying to say is I don't see the point in getting that lean again and looking the same when the point of bulking and cutting is to look different from the last time you did it. And right now if I was to get down to that, I would look the same and I wouldn't be happy with my progress. So that's just kind of where I'm at right now with this beach prep. So you might not see too much of it. I'm still, you know, been talking to a bunch of people, looking up a lot of things and kind of going long term because in my next cut, I want to look better than those pictures, meaning I put on more muscle. I don't feel like I have done that enough. So kind of back to the drawing point. But again, we are still making progress with the beach prep currently right now. I feel better in my body. And that's kind of the main point. If you guys have any comments or questions, please leave that, that down below. Hopefully that th this did make sense. Again, everything will be on the screen. But we're sticking with what I just did just for right now with the high carb, low carb, and then kind of having a few moderate days here and there to keep my fiber where I want. But again, 154 pounds, that's pretty good. Will I get to my goal of 150 on April 22nd? Probably not, but that's not the biggest deal because I'm thinking long term. I'm gonna end that video there. Hopefully it is short and hopefully you got something out of it. But that is a recap for week six. Stay tuned for the next few videos because they're going to be very, very important. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you did like it, please leave that thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions or advice, feedback, whatever, you know where to put it down below. So thank you all once again. And as always, have a great day.